This is a Game Caviar production. Not having it in the Game Caviar studios. Big shout out to Gatboy14. He requested some Black Ops, I mean not Black Ops, Borderlands 2 gameplay and here it is. I recently beat Borderlands 2 so it's really hard for me to get back into it but there are still missions that need to be taken care of and some DLC so there's still life in this game. Uh, maybe we'll see a Borderlands 3 uh, prediction or reveal at E3 next week. I don't know. But anyway, real quick right now, I want you guys to uh, open up a new tab in your browser and go to GameCaviar.com. That is going to be the main hub for everything Game Caviar. That's going to be it. That is that is the website right now. And it will be uh, in, for the foreseeable future. That's going to be it. All of your, all of the game caviar stuff is going to be on there. Of course, I'm still going to have the YouTube page, but the YouTube videos will be posted on. Uh, of course, they're going to be posted on YouTube and as well as GameCaviar.com. But then, then you're going to have stories. Like today, I had put up a story about the new respawn game, Titanfall. Information was leaked. Apparently, the next Game Informer magazine is going to have that. Uh, it's going to feature that game. Of course, Respawn Entertainment was uh, the, was the two guys that used to work for Infinity War. They they end up getting fired, and then they went to this long court battle. Now they're Respawn Games, and Titanfall is a game they've been working on forever. And I put up some, some E3 uh, bold predictions is what I called it. Some Just some things that popped in my mind that aren't uh, based off any sort of news or rumors or anything. They're just predictions, and that's... Uh, if they come true, then I will be absolutely surprised. So, we'll see. E3 starts next week, so we'll see how good my predictions are. I might be on some Nostradamus type shit. Who knows? Anyway, the second big thing that I want to do is announce that Game Caviar has a widget that goes on... Uh, that you can download and attach to Chrome and Firefox. What this widget does, okay... Anytime that you're using a browser, say you're just surfing the web, doing whatever, just web surfing stuff, and I upload a video to YouTube, it will give you a notification, like a little number will pop up that lets you know that a new video has been loaded. The main thing about this is that as soon as I upload a video, you don't have to log on to YouTube to see it. It will let you know, and an even bigger part of this is that it's free it's completely free now, I've downloaded it on my Chrome browser and it works perfectly I haven't done it on Firefox because I don't use Firefox uh, but I imagine that it will work just as fine there is no option for Internet Explorer and in fact if you use if you're on a computer and you're using Internet Explorer by choice then uh, God help your soul because that's a horrible browser so the two things to recap real quick Go to GameCaviar.com, bookmark that site. It's going to be really, really uh, lively, and it's going to be hot in the past, th this upcoming week because of E3, and then from then on out. And then go and download the official Game Caviar widget for Chrome and Firefox. And both of these links will be in the description of this video, and I will also put the annotations on the video uh, so that... It, you can't overlook it, okay? All right, moving on. Uh, I have a lot of time left in this video, so I could either end it now or I can keep talking. End it now, keep talking. End it now, keep talking. I'm going to keep talking. Let me, let me just kick off with my E3 predictions real quick, all right? This is the list that I came up with. I may go back in here and add some more, but this is what I got right now. First... Xbox One will cost more than PS4. There's actually been some rumors about that. So, uh, it's already... I think that it's going to dwarf most modern-day computers. The actual size of the thing is huge. It's like a desk. It's like a desk that you used to have in... I know I used to have in school. I mean, the thing is huge. So, I think it's also going to cost more than the PS4. I also predict that Microsoft will have a terrible show full of multi-platform games and very few exclusives. Titanfall is an exclusive for Xbox One. It's not coming out until next year. Of course, Halo will always be a hex at the Xbox um, exclusive. Alan Wake, 
you know, whatever they come up with next week, but I don't think that it's going to be enough to really give them some sort of boost or a positive, uh, a positive thought about E3, a positive showing, rather. Moving on, PS4 will have a shape similar to the PS3 and will be much smaller than Xbox One. I've read that like Bill Cosby, kind of. PS4 will have a sim... I don't know, I can't do Bill Cosby. Anyway... Uh, if you look at the PS4, the Sony's uh, teaser trailer that they released a couple days ago for E3, in the trailer, you can see a blurred out version of a box that I predict will be the PS4. And although that it is zoomed out, it still doesn't look as big as the uh, the Xbox One. Like to make Xbox One look small, you have to be on some NASA type shit, like uh, around the orbit of the Earth. Uh, so, let me see. Nintendo will have a great show, but it will be overshadowed by PS4 and Xbox One. And the reason why I said that is because Nintendo is pretty boring. And two, Xbox One and PS4 is coming out this year. And that's what everybody's talking about. Sega will make a major announcement. And I also put, remember, Sega does what Nintendo don't. A tagline from a classic ad campaign. Anybody who's had a Genesis will remember that. Sega used to give Nintendo the business back in the day, man. People forget. Maybe this is their year to return. I'm not saying they're going to make a console, but I think they're going to make some sort of major announcement. I got it. I feel it in my bones. And finally, Sony will not make a paid subscription similar to Xbox Live. Because PS Plus is awesome. And that speaks for itself. They are... Some people are always worried that Sony's gonna be like, you're gonna have to pay to play online now. Like like that Mafia Dons or, or Mafia, you know, like uh, Capos or something, just gonna run up in your house. Hey, man, you're pretty good with that PS4. Uh huh. Fuck over some dollars, or else we're gonna break your legs. No, I don't think they're gonna do that because the model that they have now works great. And if it's not broke, why would you try to fix it? I don't think they're gonna do that. I think they're just gonna let people roll and play games for free if you want to be part of playstation plus it's cool it would be in your best interest to be a part of playstation plus because i just got do sex for free next week they're gonna have uncharted 3 and um uh little big planet karting a game which is pretty much awesome it's like the modern day mario kart uh so ps plus is a good idea and i don't think sony's gonna go away from that so this has been borderlands 2 on ps3 I'm not having in the Game Caviar Studios, and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.